Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on SVNs. We looked at two important pieces so far. We derived an expression for the margin and then we also introduced a constraint optimization solver, a tool for solving that, Lagrange. And then we are going to put those two together now to solve the optimization problem in SVMs. Now, first off, we will start with the primal optimization problem. And this is something we already introduced when we were deriving the expression for the margin. So I'm going to mention that just so we understand that again, just to jog your memory. And then I'm going to continue with this derivation. Okay, so we have an expression for the distance, which we finally derived to be this, right? Minimizing W and B over half of mod W squared. So this is the distance measure that we, we came up with, where is equal to W1 square plus W2 square and so on, as many as the number of features, right? And this is subject to constraints. And we said the constraint would be yi, the value of y, times w transpose xi plus b. This is our model, the line equation. Greater than or equal to 1, where 1 is the size of our margin. So we are assuming a unit-sized margin and deriving for that. And then we said that's a simpler case, but still... Um, makes our derivation much easier, but it can help us understand what it would be for a generic mar margin C, a constant. So one is another constant, so we're just going to use that as a proxy uh, for any constant that could be used for the margin. And now we have this condition for all training examples. So this is a condition that has to hold for all training examples. So what does this condition mean? So I'm just going to jog your memory again. So this condition means that all points in our data space are either on the margin or away from the margin. They are on the margin or away from the margin. So let's now take our attention to the diagram here a little below. So this is what it means. So the dotted line is the mar margin, right? These lines are the margin. And this is the model. Right? So what our formulation says that we have to at least have a margin distance from the line where there are no points in the, the those that space cannot have any data points we are going to establish a margin around our line and we are going to maximize that margin such that we have this zone around our line where there are no data points which means that we want to make our line as away as possible from the data points so we get a clear separation in the data and this will generalize better at test time so that's what we want and this is what we are capturing by using this one here right so this is the margin that we are capturing and these two line equations we know the dot line equations we came up with them and then we derived a generic expression for that which is what this constraint is right and now we can see that this is an inequality constraint so we saw in lagrange that there are two kinds of constraints right there are equality constraints and there are inequality constraints so we only have the inequality constraint in the svm optimization problem so we have gi of w where i stands for each training example and now we have a constraint that and the constraint is given always represented with respect to zero in one direction so that's why we have to make some changes to this existing constraint to rewrite it to so it fits 
the way g of i g i of w is supposed to be constructed so we have here some changes where we uh, take one to the other side oh sorry we take the y i w transpose x i plus b to the other side where we have one minus y i w transpose x i plus b less than or equal to zero so now this becomes our inequality constraint